So guys, I am back with another Power World video and today guys, I'm going to showcase to you how you can get your very own base vendor. So if there's a vendor out there in the open world and you want that dude in your base, if you want to be able to purchase off him when and where you want, don't worry guys, today I'll explain exactly how you can do this. How's it going guys? My name is DP Gem. Before we go any further, I'm giving away a couple copies of this game to be with a chance of winning simply drop a like on the video leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed with those notifications turned on good luck okay so as you can see right here guys i have quite a few vendors here i've got the uh traveling merchants i've got the power merchants i've got the black marketeers are all in my prison up here they're captured and ain't going anywhere but the thing is these guys here guys i can literally let's just say let's take you three out i can now Put these in my base go and buy from them whenever i want purchase the materials i need whenever i want and you can also rotate the power vendors stack to uh stack uh stock okay so if i put them let's say i put me here there you go all three vendors so i simply just walk up to them talk to them and then i can purchase whatever one of them that guy's got all that stuff this guy i don't know if this is a power vendor no this is another one to be merchant this guy's got like foods and organs and things like that and then we got this guy here who is the black marketeer who sells um if you want to come away from the machine let me pick you up he sells pals you can also sell your pals to him so you can see right here guys you can purchase pals sell pals whenever you want you can also rotate his stock by simply putting him back in a box and taking him back out it's that simple it is that simple. And there we go. Yeah, it's actually got a war sec there. But yeah, simple as that, guys. So yeah, you want your very own base vendors. This is how you do it. This is how you achieve it. Well, firstly, guys, all you got to do is locate a vendor you want. So for instance, if you come to the small settlement, which is right there, which we'll go to, guys, and I'll showcase to you. Now, the Black Marketeer will explain a few tips they can capture this dude he's a little bit harder to capture he's a bit of a tank but there's a vendor down there and there's also a power vendor right here power merchant so what you do guys with these is just take them down to a low half and you've seen it on the screen now and just capture them with those uh spheres the better spheres are probably going to be needed the standard ones are a bit bit poor but yeah, as soon as you got them guys they're yours now to take back to your base build them a cage Build them the very own shop. You can do what you want to do. Now, the Black Marketeer, let's go back to the fast travel point. I'll show you where this guy is, and he's here 24 hours. Normally, they just appear at night time, but this guy's here 24 hours. You can see where I am right there, guys. Got a bit of bread there. I got such bad stick drift. Okay, so you want to go to this little church. You see where I'm at on the map. Zoom in there, because, and there we go. Let's go here. Now, the thing is with this guy, um, I can hear a shiny. What shiny is that? You're coming home with me. Where are you? I can hear it. Oh shit, that's not what I want to do. Come here. That's a big peeker. Yep, you're coming home. Okay, so I'll cut the video, guys, and I'll be back in a quick second when I got this guy down. Okay, so this guy is almost done for. Come to me, and there we have it, a shiny spark it. That's all I need in my life. Okay, so let's resume the video. Let's resume the video. Good job I adjusted my settings to make it uh, be a bit more powerful, so I can show you guys how you glitch this uh, black market here easier. Um, so let's go to this, this dude. So it's located around here underneath here you can see that little cave there right ahead of us let's zoom out on the map again just zoom back in you can see where i'm at and it's located inside of this cave for this mine shaft okay so i had to cut the video there because i messed up and i accidentally killed him which is what we don't want to be doing we want to be capturing him well i'll explain either or guys um so i've adjusted my settings to make me a little more powerful so it don't take me all day because when you come here and try and fight this guy you'll notice he's one tanky mofo he sponges but how this works is it's quite simple so you come up to him and you'd attack him and talk to him straight away what this does is it takes his health down but it takes him out of the fighting animation so you can keep doing it so 
Tack. And it, there you go. Right like that. You see like that? I've shot him. I, uh, I spoke to him and now he's out of the animation. So I can leave and do that again over and over. Now what you will notice is, is power spawning. They glitch out too. What you can also do guys is you can spawn in your own pal. Put them on uh, attack aggressively. And as they're attacking, you simply just keep talking to him. So you'll see now. Just spam it. Just spam the talk button. Just keep spamming the talk button. He won't be able to get, he'll be stuck in the animation. Just keep doing it. And you do this until he's obviously at a low health. Just keep spamming. Don't do nothing else. Keep spamming. When he gets knocked down, make sure you're right next to him when he gets back up. Talk to him again. Just keep doing it. And that's what you do, guys. You do that over and over until his health's really low. And once you've got his health really low, that's when you have to capture him. And again, you're going to need the best of spheres to do this. Uh, the, the, the standard spheres are not going to work. So, yeah, this is how you capture him. Now, if you do kill him, you'll get a massive chunk of that uh, gold. And you also get three gold keys as well, which is cool. Uh, but, yeah, guys, and you'll see on the screen now, me capturing, you can see my, my power's kind of struggling here. Trying to take his health. I'm telling you, he's got so much health. But yeah, you'll see me capturing him now, guys. And then you simply take him back to your base and you are good to go. You really are. In fact, you know what? You'll see that on the screen now. Well, I'm capturing him. I'm actually just going to kill him because I like the gold. And you'll see the gold now. Like, the amount you get is unbelievable. I think it's like 40 odd K. Something like that. Okay, so he just slammed me into the wall. He thinks, he thinks he's bad. There we go. He's down. And his pal. Wouldn't it be brutal if he could capture his pal? So he saw the gold there. 32,000. It's not between 30,000 and 45,000. And three gold keys. So yeah. That's what you get for killing him. And now to reset him if you want to do that over and over, guys. You simply quit out the game. And come back into the game. He will have respawned on the spot. And you can do it again. Over and over. He will have forgiven you. Completely forgot what you did to him. And you can just do it over and over. But now let's say you caught him because you want to take him back to your base and use him as a pal. That's all you do. Take him back to your base, put him in your base, and you're good. That's all you're good. Now, I'm going to show you other couple of vendors I recommend you do go on and get in because they're quite good. And they sell that high quality pal oil. Uh, they sell a few other things. There's another shiny there? What is going on with this game today? I haven't seen a shiny in about three or four days now. I've seen two. In a matter of minutes. Now, this guy's a low half. Is that going to kill him? No. You're coming with me. You're... Co I killed him! Shit! Pissing Al. I didn't think that last hour was going to kill him. Fuck's sake. Okay, so forget about that. So the other the other uh, vendor I recommend you coming and getting is down here. Bottom left. Vishman, Vishman's, Vishman's, Fisherman's Point. This is where you want to come to. So I'll fast travel down there, guys, and I'll meet you there. Okay, so we're at uh, Fisherman's Point here, and there's actually three vendors here. There's um, this guy right here, guys. He just sells a bit of jewelry, a weapon, I think. And he also sells bullets, which is cool if you don't want to craft your own. You can always just, you know, capture him, take him back to your base. Whenever you want them, buy them. And there's this dude right here. And this dude sells like the, uh, he's got the high quality palm oil, he's got the tomatoes, he's got flame organs, he's got seeds, horns, bones, leather, whatever you need guys. And to, these guys are really easy to catch, I mean like they're weak, you catch them quite quickly, they're nothing like the black and mock here. That's what you do have to be careful of though, when you do start fighting these guys, you will get the wanted status on your screen. So just be careful there. But you should be, you should be able to catch these quite easy. You still want to be using the better, the better spheres though. You don't want to be using the... I'd probably go Ultra Spheres are probably the best. I wouldn't waste your Legendaries on them. They take too many materials to uh, farm. But yeah, we'll capture this guy, don't worry. And you do, my head, mate. Get out of it. Come and get into my life, man. What are you playing at? Come on. Come on. One more. Come on. There we go. So he's caught. So there's another one. I've already got him twice. Don't know why I'm catching him again, but yeah. Put him back in my prison. And there we go. This guy here sells the pals. And it's the same thing with the black market here. If you want to reset his stock or rotate his stock in your base, you then simply, guys, just put him in your pocket box and take him back out. You can also go ahead and sell your pals to him too. They're pretty cool. Again, I'm going to capture him because, you know, what have you got? The more you got of him, 
more parts you can rotate at the same time, more of a chance you land in something you want. You know what I mean, people? You know what I mean, people? Okay, so. You good? Gonna catch you straight away first time. There we go. It's what we like to see. First time. I don't want you. I've already got you. Your, your stock doesn't rotate, so yeah. Okay, so now, guys, we go back to our base. Back to our base. Go to my castle. Just like so. And now, I'm going to add him into my... There you go. I got another one there. I have a, a, a base full of people. And there we go. There they are. Both there. Good. Great. All the materials I need in my life. Okay, so now he's got his rotated stock. And again, to rotate his stock. Put him back in his box, take him out, and you're good. And there we have it, guys. That is how you get a base full of vendors. And again, there's vendors all over the map. The map, there's, there's loads of them. No different kind of areas. So if there's one you come across, you think, you know what I could do with seeing him more often? Tame the dude, capture him, and imprison him. Imprison the mofo. Yeah. Uh, about my base as well. Nubis, what a monster. Um... I've tried to record a video on it. I've uploaded the video twice. I keep getting a video processing error on it. So, yeah, I'm going to have to do it again. I'll do a complete tour of my base. You can see right there, guys. i got my, my, my prison with my, my, my boss, Zoe and uh, Grisbolt. And there we have it. But, yes, guys, this is how you capture, use, and abuse those vendors. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you're seeing, want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, my bear, you beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.